Taurus, a beautiful constellation with a simple classic outline is home to not one, but two showpiece open clusters, and both are visible to the naked eye. This short video will show you how to find and identify Taurus and take you on a brief tour of its sights. This is Touring the Night Sky with Zachary Singer. In mid-January, Taurus lies about 65 degrees above the southern horizon around 9 p.m. Look for the constellation's bright orange star, Aldebaran. It's visible even in the city, making an important landmark on its own. Aldebaran sits along one side of a distinctive V of stars that outlines the head of Taurus the bull. Aldebaran marks the bull's eye. Taurus's outline continues a long way out so that the bull presents an impressive set of horns, too. The main part of the V is about four degrees across. That's about half the width of your fist at arm's length, making the V easy to identify. You'll find Taurus in the same part of the sky at these other times, too. As always, if the hour is earlier or it's earlier in the month, look a bit eastward. And if it's later instead, then look a bit towards the west. If you know the constellation Orion, though, there's an even easier way to find Taurus, which I'll show you in just a second. If you don't know Orion, don't worry. We've got a video, and the link will appear above here and in the links below. So now, the trick with Orion goes like this. Just find Orion's belt, and then follow its general direction until you see Aldebaran and the V of Taurus. Give or take a bit, it's about as far from the belt to Taurus as Orion is tall. Easy peasy. I should note while we have a moment that while Aldebaran pretty much stays visible even in a very light polluted sky, the rest of Taurus can get washed out by either city lights or moonlight. Now that you can find Taurus, let's head to our first target, the Hyades Star Cluster. So-called open clusters like this form in giant clouds of gas and dust, like the famous Orion Nebula or many others. Eventually, the stars forming inside the cloud blow away all the leftover material, leaving only the stars in the nascent cluster. Our own sun formed in a similar way. The Hyades Cluster is the nearest open cluster to Earth, and it can be seen easily without optical aid, so it was familiar to sky watchers thousands of years ago. Do you recognize it? This is an actual photograph of the Hyades, or as it's also known, the head of Taurus the Bull. You know, most constellations are just coincidental groups of stars that seem to make a shape from the Earth's line of sight, but the stars of the Hyades really are related to each other. Next up, another famous cluster. It's the Pleiades, which is also known as Messier 45, or just M45 for short. It's the second brightest cluster in the sky, after the Hyades, and the second closest to us at around 400 light years. Like the Hyades, the Pleiades were known in antiquity, with references to them appearing in Greek writings, the Bible, and equally old sources around the globe. The cluster is called Subaru in Japanese, and the car maker takes its brand name and its logo from the cluster. Under reasonable conditions, you can see a half dozen stars without optical aid, and far more in good binoculars. You can also see the Pleiades in a telescope if you have a combination of a low-power scope and a wide-angle eyepiece. If you need to put out some effort to make it work, do it. This cluster is definitely worth a look. If you look at Pleiades images, you'll often notice clouds around the brighter stars as we see in this photograph. Not surprisingly, it used to be thought that these were remaining vestiges of the nebula that the Pleiades formed in, but it turns out that the original nebula is long gone, and that what we see here is just a happenstance of the cluster stars passing through a region of gas and dust. Finally, here's an image of the Pleiades made with a shorter exposure than the deep one we were just looking at. It better illustrates the feel of looking through a moderate-sized telescope. See the hints of nebulosity surrounding a few stars? you might make them out in your eyepiece. Because the Pleiades are easy to see naked eye, they're easy to find. Just use the same path we took from Orion's belt to Taurus the Bull, keep going about half again that distance, and there they are. 
There is much more to see here, of course, but this video will get you started. At this time of the year, you'll soon discover other nearby constellations like Gemini, and having Taurus and Orion as landmarks will give you a good foundation for learning a few more. Clear skies, my friends.